We're here with the 2019-20 CCA champions, head coach Eric Olin. To his left, Gabe Hadley, and to his right, Tyrell Roberts, after tonight's fourth straight uh, tournament victory. First, coach, just talk about tonight's game. Uh, well, uh, first of all, I just want to congratulate Cal Poly Pomona on a, a great game, a great tournament, and uh, also just want to comment on the uh, administration and sports staff here at uh, UC San Diego and, and uh, the job they did in putting this tournament on. Uh, you know, we've been to a few of these, and, and this one has been great. Uh, it's been nice to be at home for us, and uh, you know, so uh, we appreciate everybody's help with all of that. And then uh, tonight's game was. Uh, you know, a good college basketball game. I thought our guys really played well. Um, maybe not our best uh, shooting performance, um, but that is not um, that's not a huge shock. I mean, Cal Poly Pomona is a fantastic defensive team, and they make it really hard uh, to find good shots. And so then sometimes when you get them, you press a little bit. But I thought as the game went along, we kind of found our rhythm and started to knock down shots. Uh, and then on the other end, I thought we did a great job all night defensively of uh, forcing them into tough shots. Uh, you know, they made a couple uh, because they're a good team and they have really good players, but uh, for the most part, I thought we did a great job of kind of controlling the ball and dictating shots. They had a run in the second half where, where we maybe lost it just for a, a few minutes, but for the most part, I thought our defensive performance was really good. Uh, and then uh, we took care of the basketball. They, they lead our conference in forced turnovers, and we did a great job taking care of it and created some of our own. I thought that was one of the bigger kind of differentiators today. Gabe, coach opened up talking about being at home. Talk a little bit about being able to sleep in your own bed and play in front of your own yeah, home team. Yeah, it's stuff. definitely very nice to be able to sleep in your own bed, go home and get up in the morning when you need to. But uh, the home crowd was great. Tonight and yesterday, they were really good. Everyone turned up, families, friends. So it was, it was good support from everybody, which we needed. Uh, it was great. So, yeah. And Ty, coach also mentioned that Pomona's defense is one of the best in our conference. And they really held you in check, especially in that first half. What changed after halftime to get you going? Um, nothing really. They just started falling. <laughs> yeah, that was, that's probably the biggest thing. But yeah, they did a, they did a good job, especially in the first half on me. But I figured, you know, I could uh, space the floor from other teammates and uh, like Gabe. Gabe hit a lot, some big shots. Um, Eric had a couple big shots, nice dunk. Uh, so you know, it, everyone doesn't have to. I don't have to score forty every time because. You know, we're a team and we got good players, so that's what, that was my mindset going into this game. William mentioned your speed as just being the hardest thing to defend. Is that really what you count on and rely on is your speed? Um, yeah, <laughs> I would say that. That's my boy. I mean, but um, I, I think uh, my team did a good job of uh, spacing the floor, coming back to the ball. Like, uh, like Coach was saying, they're one of the uh, biggest teams like for turnovers in the league. So I thought we did a good job of taking care of it and uh, coming back to the ball, getting guys open, and staying poised. Did you, at the start of the second half, I was watching your body language. Every shooter I've ever seen, I used to be a little bit my, myself. See that first one go down, it's almost like, all right. Is that what you were feeling there? Plus they're in a zone, that kind yeah. of helps. Wait, I think the first about? one was, uh, I think it was contested. And once that went in, like no rhythm, I was like, all right, yeah, that, that feels right. Yeah. And so I kind of went from there. And that was kind of run and stretch the game a little bit. They kept fighting there. But is that where you kind of felt like, okay, we got, we're up by like 10 on them. Maybe we can just got to hang on here. Uh, yeah, we are. Our goal, I was telling my teammates, just to not let them back in. Like, no hope, basically. Just uh, shut them out at that point. Don't let them within anywhere where they can get a little bit of hope. So that was my mindset once we got on that stretch. And I was going to ask you, so Katie, you had a couple of big things, too. <clears throat> Felt like some threes were there if the ball movement was right and quick because they're pretty aggressive. What were you thinking when you were catching that, knowing that I got I got a shot here, but I got to get it up quick and yeah. keep your form and everything? So. Uh, I mean, that's just good. Time, you know, getting shots up, like outside of uh, like outside of practice, you know, just getting getting reps, getting reps. But I mean, we do a good job moving the ball, and you can see it coming. You can see it coming around. You know, you just get ready to shoot it. Um, I mean, yeah, the team does a good job, so you know, just get ready to knock, knock it down and get a chance. Uh, Coach Scott came out in like the fourth minute in the first half, and Chris Hansen came in with 20 minutes, finished with 10 points. How do you think kind of he helped secure the win tonight, having him play? Uh, Chris? Yeah. Yeah, we're uh, we're excited to have Chris back. Uh, he obviously missed a big portion of the season, and uh, he's getting a little stronger every day, it feels like. And uh, yeah, he gave us huge minutes um, last night, huge minutes again tonight. Um, 
gives us a presence inside. Uh, you know, so uh, yeah, I thought he was great uh, on both ends of the floor, right on the basketball, uh, getting the free throw line, scoring inside. Um, you know, he, he definitely uh, changes our team a little bit, and so it's nice to uh, have that versatility to play a little bigger uh, when we need to. Ty, the, uh, the, the team's depth is, is clearly a strength, and with Scott Rowe limited to minutes, uh, another key tonight was to you talk about what he brought off the bench. He hadn't gotten a ton of time, but tonight he was pretty. Yeah, he stepped up big. He had a um, nice little stretch right there uh, where he went up to score a little bit, but he was, he was playing really good in that stretch. Uh, we were encouraging him and telling him to keep going. He, was, he had good hands catching the ball with on dump offs and stuff like that and playing good defense. And he didn't grab a bunch of fouls like he usually does <laughs> in the first couple of minutes he was in. So uh, he did really good tonight. He was huge for it. Yeah, just that's a testament to his preparation, you know, when uh, – if you don't get the same reps, then you got to make sure you're concentrating um, kind of throughout when we're watching film or, or, or walking through. And, and so to uh, to go from not getting on the court last night to not just playing minutes tonight, but really impacting uh, impacting winning for us is uh, you know a huge testament to him. And, and uh, it was great in that moment. We needed it, and he stepped up for it. You guys haven't lost since December 5th, man. That's technically last year. That's a long time ago, right? So what, what's it like the confidence level like when you just, you're getting wins? It seems like you're flowing well. What does it feel like on locker room stuff? Um, I don't know. I would say um, our team does a good job of just locking into each game. We don't, we try not to think um, about anything in the future or in the past, just what we need to do at that time and moment. And that works for us, and I think uh, I think that's that's really what it is for us because we don't. I'm not trying to say question again. Sorry. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, say, you've just been again. winning a lot, man. Twenty-two yeah, in a row. That doesn't right. happen a lot in any sport, you know. It, and that's quite a role that you guys are on. Um, confident. For the confidence, I would say it's just it's, it would it'd be more maturity. We got a lot of vets on our team, so. It's more of a just stay locked in, you play each possession, and not we don't go into every game thinking, oh, we're just going to be easy because we know we have a target on our back winning like that. So every team is going to give us their best shot. You know, guys might hit shots that they don't usually hit against us, or pe people are going to step up against us. So we know that. And once we understand that, we approach every game with the intensity we need to. <laughs> Look ahead a little to next week. Obviously, you don't know your opponent. You likely know your location. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow for sure. But uh, just kind of game plan a little for the postseason run in the NCAA tournament. Yeah, well, we're excited about that opportunity. Um, these guys have been uh, playing great basketball all year, so earned the opportunity to hopefully uh, stay at home again next week. Um, you know, I think it's – it's been nice for us to be at home this week and kind of get a, uh, a feel for what the tournament setting is going to be like uh, in our own building. So to do it back to back weeks, I think, you know, the comfort level will only go up next week. Um, so uh, we're excited about it. Uh, you know, we, we've been talking about as the regular season ended and each round in this tournament, uh, you know, there's only great teams left and every, every game is another great challenge. And, uh, you know, a huge opportunity. So uh, we don't take anything for granted. Ty mentioned the maturity of the group. Um, that's been a strength for us all year, and I expect us to be ready to go come Friday. Thanks, guys. Good luck next week. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.